Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday, October 17th. Or 17th. Yeah, it is the 17th. I'm losing track of my days. Um, this will be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube and watch the remaining of the reading. Uh, so, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And um, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, Angel Saints, Spirit Guides, and the Ancestors. Um, ask for a message for a greater good. So, I've already pulled cards. <clears throat> I did the wisdom of the oracle first. And what I got is you're coming into a time of peace in your life right now. And you are also calling in a divine masculine. If you're um, a feminine, if you're a masculine, flip or switch the roles. But this piece is returning into your life. And you're also calling in your, your divine partner. There's a lot of healing that's been going on. This is inner child healing, um, healing from past wounds so that God was preparing you to have this blessed union this divine partnership <laughs> i just said blessed and look you're being blessed in many areas of your life not only with this divine partnership which will go the distance by the way it's meant to last forever with you but you're being blessed in other ways um, career finance um, stability everything in your life is is being blessed by the hand of god right now um i did pull from the Cancerian Oracle. And for many of you are being called to change your career. This keeps coming out. So it's gonna bring a lot of happiness and success. This may be something outside of your comfort zone. It definitely is in alignment with your divine purpose. I got let go. Not every puzzle um, is yours to solve. This has a dual meaning. For some of you, you hold on to your past person, um, the lies and deception. You know, you want the truth. You want them to speak the truth. It doesn't matter at this point. You know the truth. You know the truth and God knows the truth and God is gonna deal with this person. This person didn't get away with anything, never, nor will they ever get away with anything. So you continuing to obsess about the truth, knowing they're a liar, knowing they've spread slander about you, lied to your children, lied to the world about you, it doesn't matter because God's gonna take care of it, 100%. So don't even worry, let people, anyone that wants to believe anything about you, let them believe it. The other thing is let go of control. Let go of control about where you're being led. Like I always talk about the trust fall. The universe inspires you to take action. You don't know where you're gonna end up or how it's gonna end up, but you have to show the universe, God, the divine, that you're willing to take that risk because it's inspired. They're giving you this inspired um, action to take and you have to do it. They're saying keep it simple. If things are complicated in your life, you need to stop and reevaluate. Because when you're in alignment with your higher self, it's not complicated. It is simple. Life is simple, okay? There is a new dawn. This says good news is coming. Hard times are over. You're in a season of, of being blessed. Um, you're being guided to be in your divine purpose, which will lead to abundance. You are meant to learn and teach others. You're moving on, stepping into a higher timeline, stepping into your divine purpose. You're meant to help others. You're meant to teach others, and God is gonna reward you. He's going to bless you for everything. Then I pulled from the Rider Waite. So I got the Hierophant. This is the God card for me. God is stepping in your life right now and making sure that justice is served. It doesn't matter who lied. It doesn't matter what they said. It doesn't matter who believed them. God is gonna make sure this justice is served. This person will pay the price for what they've done. They will be made accountable. And not only that, you have divine love. The divine love, this divine partnership you're calling in, you will defend this relationship, but God will protect this relationship, okay? There's no, no amount of deceptive energy from your past that can interfere with this divine union, none. In fact, if they try, they're gonna reap the worst kind of karma. Like, they can't even imagine how bad it will be. You also have this gift from God. This is career and finance. This is creative new endeavors that are coming in that's gonna put you in this energy of power and strength. Leadership position, that's what I feel. It's a leadership position. You teaching, you guiding people. Um, you close the cycle out from the past. You closed it, you learned the karmic lesson, you released this person. God gave you perfect clarity about who this person was. There's no mask. I mean, you can see this person like you've never seen them before. By you walking away, you were elevated to the Empress. 
and being in the Empress energy, you are a magnet for manifestation. Whatever it is you desire, whatever it is you want, you can call into your reality. Because an Empress has been through so much, learned so many lessons, and has now elevated. You're calling in the stable partner. Now this person could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placements, or they're just very grounded and stable. They will match your energy. This person will invest in you, will know your value and worth. This person will adore you, okay? Then I pulled um, from the ancestor, I think it's called the ancestors. I don't know, I'm tired so I can't remember. Anyway, uh, the same kind of similar message came out. Wise counselor, which is the God, God card, return, returning balance into your life. Balance is being restored for you because God saw all that you went through. Part of this balance is you learning new things, taking this leap of faith to be in the spotlight, to help other people to heal. They're saying continue to plant those manifestations because a new opportunity is headed your way. A new opportunity is a gift from God, it's a blessing, and it's coming, okay? Um, let me see if there's any final messages, guys. Sorry, I'm tired and my eye is bothering me. Oh, I wanna mention, you guys, so far we already have $99. Um, of donations towards St. Joe Animal Shelter. I'm gonna match whatever you guys donate, I'm gonna match it equally. So that's awesome, thank you so much. I'm gonna write your names down and the amount you donated and I'm gonna give it to the shelter as well because I want them to physically see who it was that donated and what they donated, okay guys? So thank you, I love you. That's just, you will be paid tenfold for that kindness. Let's see, what else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? Oh, we got one. Yeah. So the Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. You know, be patient with the universe. Um, things don't happen overnight, but there is a des destiny at play here. Your destiny is at play here. Um, they're saying you made the right decision to heal and to move forward and to trust in God. You made the right decision. And because of that decision, you're going to be moved forward and it's going to pick up pace very quickly and you're going to be moved toward victory because this is part of your destiny this is what you're meant you're meant to have fame and fortune in this lifetime you are you are look at this that's the truth that's the truth you will have victory you will have fame you will have fortune the only one that is, will keep you from that is you being an ego and telling yourself it won't happen only you because it's destined to be yours. Yeah, and you know what? They bring this up all the time. Whoever did hurt you in the past, they're saying this person will be in heartbreak. This person will not have divine love in their life because they were a player, because they manipulated, because they lied, because they cheated, because they stole money from you, because they stole belongings. I mean, they tried to destroy you. They're not going to have anything. Yeah, this was a controlling, dominating energy, narcissistic energy, and they did it to a high priestess, a divine being that was connected to God. An empress, a high priestess and an empress. This person, uh, I don't even wanna talk about it. Yeah, they need to heal. You've already done the healing work. They, they need to heal. They need to go to God. You're protected, you are. God said, don't worry. You're protected and your wishes that are coming in are also protected from this deceiver. There's nothing they can do. Absolutely nothing. Because you're the star and you're meant to shine. You're meant to be in the limelight. You're meant to be wealthy. You are meant to have everything. Yeah. And you know, the karmics from your past, now that feel like they love you and spy on you, they have to watch. You have generational wealth. They have to watch with a divine partner, King of Pentacles again. You finding peace in your life and you loving yourself, having so much confidence and pride in who you are. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, working, not only having a commitment, but working with your community, helping others to heal, helping others to know their worth, to love themselves, cutting out people and walking away from people that you don't trust and that's justice. God releasing them, removing them from your life. That's justice. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you once again 
for donating to St. Joseph Animal Shelter, and I will videotape it when I give the donation. Bye-bye.